is here to see, however. Oh yeah, we found a shard, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. So look here. There we go. That sounds fine. There we go. Now we can. Oh wait, no. No, no. Oh, we need to. We need to um, get this first and who gave us the I think it was the Bright Star Coast Zeldora that gives us the um the um boss soul that we need. I think I'm not entirely sure but I think that it is Ornifex that gives us the boss soul well, the boss weapon really um from that one, and now we've got the old dead one sword as well as the soul of the run. We can now. What can I do for you? You can give me this. Um, now we have the soul of Melshat, which means we can use it on making that. We can make the Looking Glass Knights, the King's Mirror. Um, which can deflect spells, but I don't really like this. Um, that one. Guardian Dragon. We can either make the. We can either make the Drake Wing Ultra Great Sword. Um, oh man. Wait. Huh? Oh, we don't have 10,000. Okay. Um. The Crypt Great Sword, sword. The Crypt Black Sword, though. Now that is an awesome sword, and I will be making that at some point. Um, I really want this Spitfire Spear, though. I really like the Spitfire Spear. Yeah, I'm gonna be taking the Spitfire Spear. Um, and then we don't really have souls for making anything else, unless I'm just gonna be using the rest of the souls. Honestly. Hundred and fifty. Bam. Now we should have enough to take to make another weapon. Uh, at least well, we can actually make one of them. Come back again. Cool. So now we have two of those things. We have two. We have two butcher's knife. So that is awesome. Um, now we will. Well, I didn't actually count in that we would get all that other awesome, uh, hallelujah, or whatever you call it. Didn't actually think that we would be getting that, but I will be going with this. I will be going with this setup, butcher's knife, and I will actually just go to. Oh no, I can't. Wait, I can. Maybe. Oh, I am heavily overweight though. Um, what can we change? This still overweight. Um. Still quite overweight. That's still overweight, I can see. Um, no. No. How are they so heavy, those two things? Let's just try and do this. Oh my god. I really, really want to wear some pants, honestly. If I can find some that doesn't bring me. There we go. Not exactly pretty, but. Yeah, but well. I've got this. Let's have a look. How much does it? Just, yeah, 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 yeah. 
No injury. All right. Wait, did I actually have one? I don't think I had one. No, I don't have one. Nope. All right. Let's go to this area, the Dragon Airy. Um, and see if we can get to the... to the next bonfire. Well, to the next area, rather. The thing is, the damage in these weapons are not exactly in amazing. They will heal me if I take any damage, but they aren't really that great. So, yeah. I'm expecting a bit of death um, in the near future. And we'll see. I'm expecting it. What the hell is this? What? Why did I hit it? Oh, fuck. Dude. I'm going back to the freaking bonfire and respawn that thing. Screw this, I'm not letting it go. No, sorry, I'm not letting that thing go. It would be awesome if I could just roll off right there, down there. And be like, yeah. Oh, no. Hopefully this responds it. I'm not actually sure it will, but hopefully it will. Because I really want some more... Some more stuff to make stuff out of. That sounded weird, but never mind. Now, it is right over here. And the good thing about that is that it will not have respawned. It will have respawned, but it doesn't actually matter. There we go. You see, it took me three hits with a strong attack from one of them to kill this thing. So the damage isn't amazing. Gotta give it that. It isn't exactly amazing. Uh, wow, okay, no. Just, just no. Just not even close. Um, not yet. We will not be going with this, uh, this setup, uh, yet. Um, we will instead go with the... No, not that one. Uh, the... Why, but these are actually easier than the Guardian Dragon, in my opinion. Ow. Okay, unless they do that. Hello. Please don't kill me. Oh dear god. It isn't actually doing that much damage, that's fine. It is still kind of scary though. Especially because it's so massive. Scary dragon. Um, there are holes in the ground, which you can 
fall into, which isn't a major problem. Ow. It just annoys the living crap out of me. Oh, that was actually probably a good thing, because he did just fire a fireball. I don't think I could have avoided it otherwise, and I would have died, most likely. Dragon two. Oh, I know the dragon two. <laughs> yep. I certainly know the dragon two. Twin Dark Soul one. That is an awesome weapon, but it I don't think I'll be using it. And there. Uh, wow. Okay. The difference in damage is quite apparent when you actually hit, um, a creature with no physical defenses whatsoever, um, with these two different weapons. The damage, the, the difference in damage is quite apparent, which is awesome. Yep. You are supposed to go over here and look at the item, and then he is supposed to be blowing you off the uh, side of the mountain. Not preferable. At all, in fact. Now, I remember the first time I reached this area on, in, um, on my uh, other character. Um, I actually, because I, I was piss scared of the dragons, uh, well, not really scared, but I felt threatened by their presence. Um, so I tried to finish them as well as I could by hiding them around here. But yeah, it didn't work out. So I ended up um, ooh, petrified right moves. I will wait um, with that until I defeat the dragon. But yeah, I beat up this dragon. Um, well, I tried to kite the dragon around really um, because I felt a little bit threatened by the damage that it was outputting. Which is really ridiculous when you think about it because I defeated the guardian dragon. So I shouldn't really um, be anything near threatened by it. How did that not hit that thing, sir? Did you actually see that? That was bullshit. Fucking dragons are just lag stepping all over the place, seriously. Which is bullshit, yes. It's not really anything we can do about it, unfortunately. Now, the reason why I'm so amazing at fighting these dragons is because, of course, that I have defeated the ancient dragon, which is just a stronger version of these guys. So, yeah. I don't really, I don't really, 
I don't really feel like they're that much of a challenge, not to sound like a, a badass or anything, but when you've defeated the when you've defeated the um, the ancient dragon and try to go up against one of these guys, you're just like the fuck? How easy are these guys? And that is legitimately the noise you make. That is literally what you say. You just say, wow, these guys are really easy. In normal Dark Souls, I would have probably gone for a plunging attack on that guy. I will not go for a plunging attack on this guy this time, because I know that the fall will kill me. I will not uh, be killed by falling. Friends, I hate that it just backs over to me. It legitimately tries to whip whip me with its tail. Look, it's just like, nope, you ain't gonna get me, bitch. I know your strategy. Come on, I'm trying to get you. Oh, for fuck's sake, you bitch! Why won't you just turn around? Oh, of course you want to turn around when you can just... Oh, for fuck's sakes, come on! Why are you attacking so freakishly fast? Just because I do not want to get all invaded on the way over to the uh, Dragon Shrine, and if I get invaded, I don't, I do not approve of healing, but I have legitimately reached this far. Um, and, well, all I need right now is to just get over here, and I'm not about getting killed. On the doorstep of the dragon shrine. No way. Just no. No way, man. Now we're at the dragon shrine. Um, yeah. I think we're gonna turn human with this one because I would prefer to have a 
anybody, if there's anyone in this area at all. Oh wait, I can't summon anyone, that's right, because I need to actually make it through the area first. And, ah, well, that was a waste of human energy. I'll most likely get it back later, though, so. It's fine. Blackstone because there's some awesome deer in here that I really, really, really want. Uh, the Staff of Wisdom, I think, is in here. The Staff of Wisdom and the uh, Velka set, I think it is. Well, it looks like the Velka set, so I'll be calling it the Velka set. And then, uh, just to be on the safe side. He's just not going to do well if he starts attacking. He is just going to continue attacking forever, basically. With no pause, uh, not giving you enough time to go over there, which is really, really annoying. So I would love to kill that guy. Great keep and great axe and great shield, that's pretty good. Now those two over here. Nope. I will not be able to know it either. Because uh, I need to go down here. Okay. This is a good one, yeah. Okay, that's that. And this is the bad one. I hate this when you meet doors that can't be rolled through, especially when I'm used to it. And I really am, you know. Now we will get invaded right here, on the doorstep. And the very first time I was in this area, I actually thought that um, the guy invading me was actually a player, so I was like, oh shit. And I... Um, I used a silver talisman, I think they are, the the ones that causes you to turn into a, um, an, an, like, an scenic item uh, in the environment, um, and stood there, because I really needed to pee, and I didn't dare go anywhere, because I was afraid he, he was going to jump me. So I just used that, and when I came back, he just... I came back and I, nothing had happened, so I was like, oh, that was pretty good. Then I went up here and was like, oh, it was just an NPC. Damn. But yeah. Nope. Ow. 
drop that information. What? Oh my god, why is it? How? 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 Hold on. He's actually really good. That's annoying. What the? How? He's playing like a fucking player. How is that even possible? What the blazes? He was actually playing like a player right there. That was really weird. Oh well, we got the petrified egg. Which means that we will be getting into the dragon cup. Well, we might do. If we want to. Now the good thing about me going up here into this area is that I can now take care of this chest. Of course. Crystal magic weapon. Um, but also... I can... Oh my god, I have 50 of those things. I can... They're not really doing that much. Okay, nope. Forget about that. That's not gonna work. That is simply just not gonna cut it. Uh, instead, we will be equipping these poison arrows. Yes, that sounds good. That's very good. And it will just be for this guy. We will actually also be equipping these lacerating. There we go. And there we go. That takes care of that guy. Because the other one here, he isn't really a problem. Ow. Unless he hits me. Come on, you bastard. There we go. Stop that. The good thing is... Oh god, I just remembered something, yeah. And a really annoying area is actually coming up, which I will actually do my best to just rush through, because this is actually a really, really annoying area. Okay, <clears throat> I'm probably not going to make this, but this is for Dark Souls community. Here we go. How did they hit me? I was ways away from them. I'm not even joking. I was so far away from those bitches. I wasn't even anywhere near them. God, oh, fuck that. I'm rushing the whole area. I know that. I know I can rush the whole area. I've done it so many times before. And when I'm overweight, overburdened with only 11%, I can easily do it. No sweat. He usually just does the charging one and he puts it down on his side, which is what I hope that he would do. Yeah, I will be going down here.
Now, I hope that they will not have returned to their original position, those two bastards. Uh, the ones down there. I sincerely hope that they haven't, but what could they have? That's a good thing. A very good thing. Because this is going to just rush straight past them. And I've missed over. And now we're in a safer location, not a safe location. just run over to the other side of this dragon over here. I will just run all the way over here because I know that these, one of these guys will follow me to the end of the world, basically. And I really do need my equipment to take on him. Uh, so, he's the aggro, hopefully. Yes. Yes. This is good. This is very good. I do like this guy's and voice, so that is the only, most likely at least, um, the only dialogue that I will keep in the game, uh, well in the playthrough really, because it is, he's really awesome, he's badass, I like him a lot. Alright, so now we've basically gone to the Ancient Dragon. And we've gotten the Ashen Mist Heart, which will allow us to do stuff. It'll allow us to access memories. Some of these memories will give us the souls, the giant souls that we need to defeat those bastards. Let's have a look here, because she should sell some new armor. And indeed she does. Hexer armor, the Hexer armor. Saints armor, of course, and uh, Kales. Huh. I'm gonna just be buying a server. Three more just to keep on top, and then I will be living on a bit until I think. Okay. <clears throat> a single time? Yeah, a single time. Then I will be going up and bigger. And there we go. That was awesome. Yes, we've done a lot today. We have actually done a lot in this session. Awesome! High five! Boop. Um. Well, I guess it's time to end this. Um, next time I will most likely be going through the memories. Um, trying to collect the different... 
different giant souls and we will possibly challenge the ancient dragon to a duel possibly we might that is a possibility though I'm not sure we will be able to beat it but we will try a couple of times and if we fail too much we will <sighs> We will not even bother. So, um, yeah, basically, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.